welcome back to my youtube channel so if you're new here hi my name is danielle louise and we do anything from beauty fashion lifestyle and motherhood over here on this channel if you do enjoy this video then please do subscribe i would love you to join our little family over here so today i thought that i would do a bit of a favorites video for you i thought i could pick some of my favorite things that i've been using for quite a while now um, and I thought I'd like to share them with you. So I hope that you do enjoy this. Um, I haven't really got an idea of where we're gonna go with this or how we're gonna do it, but we're just gonna go ahead and get on with it. So I really hope that you enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you do, and please do subscribe. And yeah, without further ado, should we just get into it? So first off, I thought that I would start with beauty products um, and more so like on the makeup side of things. I have tried this year to really cut down on how much makeup I've been wearing, especially obviously because we've been wearing the masks. It's not helped my skin at all. And I thought whatever I can do to um, stop my skin having a meltdown, I'm going to try and do it. So I haven't been wearing as much makeup as I usually would have. However, I have got a few staples that I just can't go without. Like I can't if I don't put these on in the daytime, then basically I'm not going out the door because I just I don't feel like ready for the day. And I, to be quite frank, I look awful. <laughs> um, so, first one of these products is, I don't know about anyone else, but if I haven't got my eyebrows on, then that's it. We ain't going out. We're not going anywhere because I just look an absolute mess. So, um, I am trying to grow my eyebrows out at the moment and one side's doing quite well, the other side not so much and that, that's always the case isn't it so we're doing what we can but the product that i came across this year i say this year it's not this year anymore is it last year um is the um brow system which i did actually do a video on so if you've not watched that then please go ahead and watch that i'll try and link it down below so you can go and have a look and it's all about Refi Beauty. So Jess Hunt came out with this brand not too long ago and I thought that I would give it a try and ever since I have I've just been in love with it. Um, I'd say that I use daily more so just the brow pencil and the brow gel. This brow gel is just amazing. I've tried good brow gels before um, but I always find that either they don't hold my brows enough or they're too hard. Like they just feel like crusty and horrible. So this one, honestly, I can't fault it. It is so good and it definitely holds my brows in place all day. So yeah, I love this. And also the brow pencil is amazing. It's got a really fine tip and it just, it's just really nice. So I would definitely say that these are included in my favorites for 2020. Um, yeah, there are, um, the pomade I would use more when I go out for more of a more defined, thicker brow but it's still amazing and also what I do sometimes do is use this because it's um like a dark nice dark brown um I use this as like a bit of a winged liner but I smoke it out a little bit so it just adds a bit more definition to the eye without being like a big cat eye do you know what I mean so um yeah love them next up is a bronzer and i just think you pop a little bit of bronzer on and you just look alive i don't know about anyone else but i am quite pale on my face so if i don't wear any makeup i do look ill so <laughs> so um i've tried so many bronzers and i've just there's a lot that i like um but i wanted something that just looks a bit more natural i hate it when it's just like orange and it's so obvious that you've got like like clumps of bronzer on your face and I just wanted something a bit more natural. So I went and invested and got the Hourglass bronzer. And this is honestly amazing. It's called the Ambient Lighting Bronzing, Ugh. say it properly. This is called the Ambient Lighting Bronze, bronzer? And it's in, basically it's all worn off on the back so I can barely see what it says but it's in the shade Radiant Bronze Light. And I've had this for so long and I don't think I'm anywhere near hitting pan. You see, like it's such a beautiful, like shimmery, shimmery bronzer, but it's shimmery without being glittery, if you know what I mean? Like it makes you look like um, glowy and awake and luminous, but without making you look like you've got pieces of glitter all over your face. Do you know what I mean? So I absolutely love that. Um, I pop it all over my cheeks, a little bit on my forehead, down the neck, 
little tiny bit on my nose and I automatically look like awake and a bit like a bit of a glowy bronze colour. So I absolutely love that, definitely would recommend. And I would also say with this product that it is worth the money. I think it is about 40 something pound. I know it is quite expensive. Um, but because I've had it for so long and it's just so good, I definitely think it's worth the investment. So next up, I've got the Isla um, Brow Tint. I think this is, can be used for brows and um, eyelashes, but I got the dark brown. Um, obviously, with us being in lockdown, all the beauty salons and everything have been closed, which is so sad for them, but obviously people still want things doing. So I bought this on, I think I bought this on Amazon. I am trained in level two beauty. Um, however, this is like foolproof. You can't go wrong with this. It's so easy. You literally just pop a little bit of dye in the plastic thing that they give you, add the developer, mix it in, pop it on, leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and there you go. And honestly, it's really good. It's easy and I've used this three times now and I've still got so much left. So it's all, it's worth the money. I think it's not that dear either. I think it's like only about eight pound. So yeah, if you need a brow tint for at home, then I definitely would recommend this one. Next up on the beauty front are my favorite lashes. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm as I'm getting older, I'm not really into the thick, um, heavy looking lashes, especially not on me. So on some people they look amazing, but on me I just, I'm not into that anymore. Um, so I was looking for a more natural, um, easy to apply eyelash for when I want to dress up a little bit more than usual. Isn't very often, but when it does happen, you know, you sometimes want to pop a lash on. So, I ended up getting these Ardell Wispies, which I know these have been around for, I think, forever. Um, but I just thought I'd pop them in because they are some of my favourites. And I also want to try the ones that are, I think, are they the Demi Wispies? Something along those lines. And you can also get the ones just for the ends, just for the outer eyelash. So I think I'm going to give them a try as well. But if you're looking for a natural looking lash just to add a little bit of volume and length, then I definitely would go for these. Next up, I've got a little bit of skincare for you. So this year, I really um, want, I keep saying this year, and it's not this year, it was last year. But anyway, I'm continuing this into this year. I wanted to try and take care of my skin. Um, I definitely think your skin is an investment. At the end of the day, you've only got one skin, and as soon as you ruin it, it's too late. So you need to be looking after it. So I wanted to invest in a really good moisturizer, night cream and eye cream. I hope you can't hear my washing machine. Let me just shut the door. Sorry about that. So as I was saying, um, I wanted to invest in a really good eye cream, um, day cream and night cream. Um, so I have done that. Um, I did a lot of research. I watched a lot of YouTube tutorials myself. Um, I wanted to see what everyone recommended and this one came up quite a few times. And honestly, again, I do feel like with this product, it is worth the money. It's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. Um, but it's definitely worth it. So while I'm just nattering on, I'm going to actually show you what I'm talking about. So I ended up getting the three step process. So these are the Charlotte Tilbury um, day cream, eye cream and the night cream. And honestly, I can't fault these. I started off with just these two. So when I love these two, I decided to get the night cream, but it's just, I've noticed such a difference in my skin. My skin was quite dry and not, just not in very good condition. And don't be wrong, I still get my breakouts, which I'm trying to tackle at the moment. Um, so yeah, that's another story. But in just in general, the like texture and things of my skin, this has helped so much and I would recommend these to anybody. I've told so many people about these. They are expensive, but they last forever, and they are worth the money. Um, so I would definitely recommend getting these. And also the night cream. I wasn't sure about this at first because it's very, very tacky when you put it on your skin. But I quickly realized that I was just using too much. You literally need the tiniest bit, and it goes such a long way. You apply like a thin layer on your skin, rub it in, and in the morning you wake up and it's as if your skin has just been puffed up. 
left all your fine lines and everything are just less visible and um, your skin just feels nice and moisturized it's just honestly it is definitely magic um i would recommend this to anybody it's worth it if you want to invest in your skin then charlotte tilbury is definitely the way to go next up i don't really know why i started with moisturizer because i'm kind of going backwards now but anyway um i have been using this elemis toner it's the elemis smoothing apricot toner and i've been using this for it's got to be a few years now at least two years and it's just so nice i just feel like you know when you first wash your face or after you get out of the shower and your skin can sometimes feel a bit tight and just um you know you just need a bit of moisture back in i just spray this over and oh the smell everything it just feels so nice on my skin um yeah i just love it so if you're looking for a good toner and something that just gives your skin a little drink after you come out of the shower then definitely go with this one this is also another thing that i've been using and i've actually loved it so this was the old packaging it's the murad hydration um aha and bha exfoliating cleanser this is the old packaging this is the new one because this is the new one i've just purchased um but honestly i absolutely love this it's really gentle while it's exfoliating the exfoliating particles are just so tiny that they don't feel like they're damaging your skin but they still feel like they're buffing off any dead skin cells and all that you know all the dirt that you don't want on your skin and i use this pretty much every day i absolutely love this this one and the or Omoravica cleanser i hope i've said that right that them two are my go-to i absolutely love this um and we'll definitely be keeping on purchasing this also something i've recently just bought hello arlo are you okay you're right. just gonna be two minutes darling okay just talking about my beauty stuff darling my youtube channel I won't be long, are you okay? Yeah. You just watch a little bit more YouTube and I'll be there. Yeah. All right, I'll be there in a minute. Love you. Love you, darling. So another thing that I've been using, um, I think I purchased these about a month ago now, maybe. Um, but honestly, I heard a lot of people talking about them and I didn't think there'd be much to it. Um, so I did buy some cheaper ones off Amazon However, I didn't think much to them, so I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for the for the real ones and give them a go. And they are really good. Um, it is the Face Halo um, Makeup Remover Pads, and they come with a pack of three in here. They're not in here at the moment because they're in my bathroom. Um, but these are so good. I don't understand how they work, but you literally just wet them under the warm water and just rub them all over your face and i don't know what it is but it just seems to like pull your makeup off without any cleanser so what i tend to do is i wipe my face all over with these try and get the worst of it off and then i go in with my cleanser and then i'll use these also to wipe my cleanser off as well um but yeah i definitely recommend these to anyone as well they're really really good so yeah then another little product that i've been using a lot is the lano this is the all over one um and i started using this just because i was getting really dry skin all over my eyes um just you know like on the inner corner and i don't really know why i was getting it um but i was looking for something and i actually saw lydia release millen um suggest this because i think she had a similar problem um and it works it's really good it works and also um i don't know um whether i meant i've mentioned this before anywhere but in the summer i had like this reaction and i don't know whether it was something to do with like stress or worry or i don't know what because we were buying the house i didn't feel like i was stressed or worried but you know and you've just got a lot going on um and i had this like rash all over my hands and um my chest my feet it was pretty much everywhere and i don't even know what it what caused it we went to the doctors they gave me loads of different steroid creams which helped but didn't clear it and in the end they gave me the strongest one they could get because that was the only thing that worked but in the meantime to soothe it um because obviously it was really itchy and sore especially on my hands to soothe it in between the steroid cream i was using this and honestly it really really helped it's just cooling it's moisturizing and it just helped to take away the soreness especially in between my fingers so i definitely think if you've got any little 
bit of um, dry skin, soreness anywhere, give this a go because it's worth a try. And yeah, it's really nice. It's really gentle on your skin and yeah, give that a go. Staying on the track of moisturisers, I absolutely love a good moisturiser, but sometimes I don't find that they are moisturising enough. My skin just seems to drink it up and then it's gone. Um, so I was looking for one that was a bit better and I came across the Nivea Lotion Extra Rich Moisturising Cream and it's for dry skin. So this is what I use after I come out of the bath. Um, I absolutely love it. It's so good. Um, you can get like big packs of this on Amazon, like in, in bulk packs. So you can stock up on this and you will never run out. So that'll be really good. And I would definitely recommend. So next up is my go-to razor and shaving cream. So this has been a game changer. I don't know about anyone else, but my skin after I've shaved my legs is just, it can be so sore. I think I've just got quite sensitive skin on my body. Um, and so yeah, I needed to invest in a good razor. I've tried so many um, and they've just all done the same sort of thing until I got this one. This one is just honestly so nice. It's so gentle on your skin, so moisturising. And then I've got also got the shaving cream, which has really helped as well. This is the um, Aloe Shea and Coconut Oil Shaving Cream by Astrid. And it is amazing. It really, really is. It's really helped, um, like the razor burn that I used to get. I don't hardly get that anymore. It's amazing, honestly. I would recommend anyone that needs a new razor, don't bother getting those awful plastic little ones. Invest a little bit. And it's also really good for the environment because you don't throw away the whole razor. You only throw away the heads. And you can set up a subscription um, and they send you the heads every, I think you can pick every month, every three months, every six months, whatever you decide. Um, and that means you don't have to think about it. And I absolutely love that because especially being with a mum, I love a good subscription because then I don't even have to think about ordering it again. It's just there. So yeah, definitely would recommend these. Also, I know I've done a video on my hair care, which I will also link down below, um, of the hair care products I use. So if you watch that one, then you will know that I absolutely love these. And if I can get in them, then I'll show you because this is a new box that I've just had delivered. I've been using these now for probably about nearly a year now. And I just love them. They just make my hair feel so amazing and I can't say anything bad about them because I just love them. So these are the Function of Beauty um, hair care, is it like a hair care system that I've got. Um, this is the shampoo, the conditioner, and then this is the um, hair mask as well. So I get these delivered to me, I think it's every three months that I get these delivered. Again, a subscription service, so I don't even have to think about it. The hair stuff just turns up on my doorstep and it's just amazing. Um, so yes, I think these are amazing. I always pick um, the eucalyptus scent just because I feel like it's just so nice and fresh. And I won't repeat myself because I've said all this in my hair care story video. So if you are interested in getting these products, then do go over and have a look at that. I will try my best to link that video down below so you can go and have a look at that as well. And yeah, I just think if you're looking for a hair care system especially a subscription service and something that tailors completely to your hair and your needs, then definitely head over to a function of beauty because I would definitely recommend them. And then lastly, but certainly not least, is the Lydia Elise Millen Glow Kit. This is honestly game changing. If you're someone who likes to do your tan, likes to look after your skin, then this is something that I would recommend for you. It comes in this amazing, beautiful, got um, gold, it's not gold, is it? Oh my God, black leather bag. Um, it is, um, I'm pretty sure this is vegan leather as well. Pleather, I don't think, it's not real. I'm sure it's like, I'm sure it's fake. So it comes with some things inside. I've got all my products and stuff in it. Look, you can store like your tan and bits and bobs in there. Basically, in this bag, you just get everything you need to prep for a good tan and to be able to execute having a good tan. So, it comes with a beautiful um, exfoliating glove, which I've actually left in the bath because I used that last night. Um, it's just such good quality, so nice. It's just 
really really nice and it also comes with which I think is a bit of a game changer because I've seen back applicators before for fake tan but I've never seen a back exfoliating like mitt what would you call this like it's got two little handles that are back there so you can just pop it over and like basically do like this um it's so nice it's really good quality it's gonna last you for ages and yeah you're gonna have a good tan on your back because your back's now exfoliated as well so yeah it's amazing and it also comes with obviously the tanning mitt and a back applicator for the tan as well which is really amazing and just makes applying your tan so easy you don't have to ask anyone to help you don't have to get in any funny funny positions to be able to get your tan in the places that you need it it's just really really nice and i would definitely say that it's a good investment because i don't know how about you lot but i used to have to replace my tanning mitts so often because they just get grubby whereas this one i've had for a while you just whack it in the washing machine when you need to and yeah it's sorted and you will have a nice tan all year round so everyone that is the end of this video i really hope that you enjoyed it and i really hope that i helped and you found something that you might have needed um please do give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you did enjoy it leave any suggestions down below of what you'd like to see next because i really want you to come back and to watch these videos i'm really enjoying doing this and yeah um i hope you're all well stay safe and i will see you all soon bye everyone